How's it hanging, YouTube? It's Vortex Blade coming to you on the Slaves of A channel once again with the next installment of the Robopon series. Now, uh, I know last time I kind of was skimpy on my video, as in I didn't really know what I was doing. But, um, I did a little more, uh, looking through the game, and I'll help you out a little more with this video. This guy right here, this guy's a G. He gives you so much information that, like, Look, now that you're president, I'm going to give you a Robopon. So, not only do you get a second Robopon from this guy, this guy gives you an entire ass, t not entire, but a little tutorial. You see, here are the four factors to making Robopon stronger. You upgrade your CPU at the laboratory, then you purchase components from the component store, and then, when they're ready for evolution, go to the laboratory and cram uh, software into their components. So, all these things help make your Robopon stronger. Attributes are going to play a big role in this game. It's a lot more in-depth than I originally thought. A lot more than Pokemon, too. With attributes pretty much determine winners and losers of battles. Oh yeah, this person doesn't say anything special. But this thing, this thing right here. There's like a hidden, like, fucking fairy behind it. I, th I clicked on it because I thought it was like a freaking Mew or something from Pokemon, and it's like, oh, how, how'd you find me? I'm like, what? So, uh, you pick one of the three chests, I don't know, I'll pick this one. And I got five energy balls. So you always collect five energy balls after the battle. I don't know what this panel thing is, I really have no idea. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, um, that's all about this house, and, uh, yeah, it's a really useful house, just, you know, don't skip over it, even though it's in the main town. I just talked to him again, because he heals your guys, I think, yeah, and Sonny, I noticed, was at one health. Alright, going out of here now. Uh, don't believe there was, I mean... There might have been something special about this house, so I'll just check it out, and, um... Oh, yeah, no, no. This person says there's some secret to the names of the people, but I don't know it. And I'm not really gonna sit around and try and figure it out. This person up here... Oh, she's telling you that if you bring certain things to different people, they'll trade you, and... Sort of like Pokemon trading Pokemon, except... I don't know, I haven't seen any, like, tall grass patches where you can catch Robopon. I don't know how that works, but... I don't know, very different from, uh, Pokemon, actually. More than I thought. Anyway, going back to Libra Town. I'll worry about upgrading CPUs and stuff later. I'll probably end up doing that off-camera, and then just kind of showing you what I upgraded... And maybe the first time I'll show you how to buy it, but after that I'll just leave it at that. But for now, I'm going to just move ahead because I would rather not waste time. So I'm going back to the school, and uh, this is where the next part of your adventure really continues. Now here in the school, you have to get the certificate from the gymnas uh, to battle in the gymnasium. So this guy, he basically says, if you want a participation certificate, you have to fill out a stamp card. You get stamps from beating each of the teachers in the different um, classrooms. Now, I'm just telling you guys, I haven't done this. I haven't done this off camera. I have never done this, period. I beat this first teacher here off camera, and then I just said, okay, I have a general idea of what to do. So, now I'm experiencing this for, experiencing this for the first time with you guys. So, let's do this. <laughs> I have a splat. Yeah, see, like, I don't know the attributes of splat or anything, so... Like, when I do Fire Fist, it doesn't do that much damage. And I don't know how to do more. Because I don't really understand attributes quite yet. And it does clearly make a big impact on the game. Levels don't mean nearly as much. I'm pretty sure it just means increases your power and um, health. Because the way to get new attacks is from upgrading your CPU and such. Um. Oh, 
oh, I get this little bottom part over here says type fire effect damage. It means it's a fire type attack and it's a damaging effect, not something else. I don't know of any other type effects yet. Uh, seems to be taking less and less damage every time. I wonder if a regular attack would be stronger. No. This is tedious. Ouch. I wonder what the Fen does. I don't know. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, another thing while I'm just, you know, grinding through this. There's a, uh, on this website, playr.org, that I'm broadcasting from, it's really, uh, in recent times, it's gotten extremely slow, and by that I mean, when you try to load up pages, it goes really slow. And it's not your internet, it's the damn website. It's really bad. It'll take a couple minutes to load up each thing you're trying to do, so don't be frustrated with it. Oh yeah, see, I picked up energy balls. Now this is what energy balls are used for. You see how Sunny comes maxed out? He just comes that way when you join the game. But this guy, Robbie, my new guy, he, EN, that's energy balls. When you click him, he gets the 10 energy balls. And when you max him out, then they're ready for evolution. That's what they're used for. So, that's how you determine someone's experience bar. Unfortunately, you'll never see Sunny uh, evolve. So, I got my first stamp. And we're moving on. I'm not going to bother healing Sunny, which is going to be a big problem later on, but that's okay. Another thing I learned is always talk to every person, because a lot of people actually have useful input. And so um, I'm going to talk to some of these people on the way out and stuff. And I'm sorry if that pisses you guys off, but, like, I, I don't want this to be a stupid game. Like, I, I want to actually do good for you guys so you see what the game's like. Because, I mean, it's not really that fun if I just kind of keep losing on camera and having to restart and not show you guys what I've been doing. So, I want to actually go through this the right way, and wow, this guy's weak to fire. Ah, uh, see, like, if I, if I could tell what this guy was, then I'd know what fire is good against. I might... Ah, oh, shit, Skybomb, what is that? It sounds strong. Did he just miss? Or not, okay. By a fist! Uh, still definitely a lot of similarities between Pokemon, but it's still a lot less direct with everything. It's tough. They make you talk to all these different people. I don't see the point of not using these energy balls. If anyone's played this game and knows, please leave a comment, because I'm just going to keep using them, which may be retarded. Yeah, get out of your fat bitch. No, you're really good. Get out of here, language teacher. Yeah, when your Robopon starts shining, that means they've gotten to the point where you can upgrade them. Okay. So, pictures upstairs, downstairs. I mean, ah, fuck, I screwed that up. This is the downstairs, that's the upstairs. Going up. That was probably extremely self-explanatory. Oh well. English teacher. Leechy. Is it strange if that guy looks exactly like my business teacher? I'm not gonna lie, he looks just like my marketing teacher from the past year. Oh boy. Sonny's probably going to die, so you'll get to see what Rowdy can do. Also, another thing about money in this game, I didn't actually go everywhere. There's actually a few things I forgot, whoops, but... Uh, money in this game is really, uh, I don't know the right word for it, but it has a lot more functions, and I'm always afraid to waste the money I have, 
because there's so many different things you can do with the money. Like, um, you can upgrade your, uh, building that your laboratory's in, which got, I don't know what the hell that does, but you can upgrade the building. You can donate money to make the laboratory that upgrades your people better. You can use this money to buy things, and, look, it said, we were, I mean, I don't really know, there's just different functions, and it's tough, but, anyway, yeah, did you see what I just did, that pea soak attack? It said, all right, we have an advantage. Their strategy isn't working. I think that's what it does when um, their attacks are not very effective. It says, we have an advantage. And so it says their surroundings are soaked. I think that's a disadvantage, but I'm really not sure. And it seems to do the same amount of damage every time, the attack, so... No idea. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that pea soak first. I don't know. I'll test it out. Try soak shots. I keep saying the surroundings are soaked. I don't know if that. I, I'd imagine that makes it weaker, but I don't know. <sighs> you want to die already? So, I'm guessing Robbie's a water type, derp, and Leechy's a ground type. So, heads up for this battle, send out Robbie versus Leechy because it works pretty well. I feel like the attack sequences are overdone, like they take- Ah, oh, come on. No, I feel like they're overdone because- I mean, does it really have to poke those stars up three times? Like, I just waste time to show nothing, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, and... Um, now one more thing, YouTube, now that this battle's over. Um, I'm gonna pull some voodoo magic here and just pause the video while I go and heal... My guys, so, when you, uh, just one sec, I didn't cheat, I didn't put any hacks, I just kind of paused the video, so that, wait one sec, alright, I'm just going to pause the video and heal myself, so, be right back, as soon as he stops talking. And now I'm back exactly where I was, and as you can all see, everybody's back at full health. I just paused the recording and went to go heal my guys. That is it. So, seems like every room's here at a computer lab. Be a pretty nice school. Going upstairs, and... fourth floor. So why does each classroom take up a whole floor? Have I seen you before? No, that's a phys ed teacher. Well, Smurfs are all over the place in this game. Clearly, Smurfs teach gym class. Who knew? Oh, and he's a sailor, too. Sailors teach gym class, folks. Learn something new every day. Palmer. Well, if this is anything like Pokemon, he looks like a grass type, which means fire will rape him. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! I was right. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, well, I'm not gonna get hurt. Let's check out, let's test out this defend function. Alright, so it just reduces the damage you're gonna take. I guess, uh, if it's anything like Pokemon, like if there's a poison function that would be useful, where, like, you defend yourself after you poison them. I don't know if that exists, though. I don't know. But there are definitely attacks that aren't damaging types, because otherwise, I don't see why that would be there. But, you know, we'll find out in the future. And Palmer was scrapped. I wonder how many energy balls it takes to level them up. Stamp.
Wait, so what is this? This is not a phys ed room. Wait, what, what do you say? That was important. Higher versions of software take up more RAM. Crap. Another function of this game. I don't know yet. That sucks. Alright, well, I know you guys don't like watching gigantic long videos, so... I'm gonna just head over here. I'll come back to you guys another time with the next battle in this town. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Vortex Blade coming to you on the uh, Slaves of Fate channel. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be continuing the series, uh, make the next video, not for a while, because I'm going to be gone for camp for like a week or two. So when I get back, I'll see you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe.